Hello everyone. In today's video we will be looking at an alternative to playing music directly through Foundry and that is using a music bot in Discord. You've likely used music bots before or at least are familiar with them but this one is a well it is my particular favorite because it comes packaged with a user interface which I particularly like because I don't want to have to deal with commands the entire time or have to navigate through. I just want to be able to click the song that I want to play when I want it to play. So the name of it is SinusBot, I believe that is how you pr pronounce it at least, and I will be putting a link to where you can download it onto your computer. I'll be using the Windows 64-bit right here. After you have downloaded and installed the software, you want to open it up and go to the left-hand side where you have instances. There won't be anything there, so we need to click Add Instance at the top. Give it a nickname like music bot or DD bot, whatever you want. And then the bot token, this is where we need to now click the link and we will be directed to the Discord website to create a bot. Once I'm here, I want to click the top right, new application. This is the name of the application, but it will also be the name of the bot. So I am going to name it DND Music Bot. And then once I'm here, I can change the icon if I want to, but I don't need to at this time. I can always do it later. Left hand side, I'm going to go to bot, click add bot. Yes, do it. And we can see that my bot is brought into existence. And again, I can change the icon here as well. And this will change the icon we see when it joins the server. Now I want to go ahead and copy the token that is right here. And this is what we're going to be using back in our sinus bot itself. Now that we are back here, we just need to paste the token that we had earlier that we got from Discord. Create. It is created, so let's just turn it on and select. And then go to instance settings on the left hand side. And then right now we see that there is nothing here because the bot isn't on our server. So we need to click here, click here to allow the bot to join. You will see this screen, so just go ahead and drop down and authorize the bot to join your server. If you did that correctly and you go take a look at your Discord server, you should see on the right hand side where you have the users, your bot has appeared with the name as well as with any icon that you set in the bot window. Now we want to go back over to instant settings, click the audio channel, whatever it may be, and we want to save changes. And with that, we should see our bot in our Discord now. As a note, it's also helpful to give the instance a name, just something simple to help keep track of it. With this bot as well, it is really easy to set up user accounts so that you can have individual players in your game be able to play music at will. You just need to give them a name, create whatever password you want, it really doesn't matter. And then the identity is matching their Discord identity. So in order to set it up, they do need to be on the server at that time in the voice chat. And then if they are, you will be able to match them up with the identity for this bot. And after that, you can set the permissions and decide what they are allowed to do and what they are not allowed to do. The privileges are right there underneath their name, or sorry, to the right of their name, and it's really easy to check. After you're done with all of that, all you really need to do is create playlists, put in the music you want, and you are set. You can play the music in the same way and you have a full interface. And you can even, like the other bots use, you can set up your own commands as well. If we go over to instant settings, we can set whatever prefix we want here for the commands to be. So everything is here and it is really nice and easy to use. Now, if you want to use music from YouTube, you do need to use the YouTube DL setup. I am not going to be going through that in this video because, well, I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube because it's kind of a gray area, but I'll be putting a link in the description below to where you can find a guide because it is not hard to do. All right, that is where we're going to be ending the video. I hope you can use this. Like I said, if you are a group that uses Discord, like I think a lot of groups do, it is an easy way to get music playing to all of your players at the same time without having to worry about any commands or things like that. Thanks everyone. 